Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced, developer advocate at Dremio, and just wanted to make you aware of a new feature. Okay, first off, make sure to be able to use this feature, which is going to be able to generate AI-generated content for your wiki for tables and views, you need to have the AI feature turned on. This is for Dremio Cloud. So you would do that is by uh, going to your project settings, and then here you would click on preferences, and then here you can turn on the generative AI preview. Now this does two things. It's gonna make the feature that's already been out for a while, which is the ability to generate SQL using generative AI, where you can drag and drop data sets over here, and then type in a description or a question, and it'll generate the SQL for you. But what's new is now I can go to any data set. So let's see here, I got a data set over here. And over here, what I can do is I can click on this little button right here to go to the table. Okay, and then if I click over here where it says details, this is where I can find information about the table. So for example, just here's like a description of the schema, uh, a little other data about the, about the table itself. And then over here is the wiki for that particular data set or table. Okay, I could edit it and use Markdown and just plain text to write my data. So I could just go in here and just use this text editor to create content. And again, I can always click this little AI symbol to generate content. So right there, here's little Gnarly, who's now generating a, a entry for our wiki. And I'll just take a moment, and then we'll be able to have content that describes this particular table. So basically what it's doing, it's reading the table, reading the scheme of the table. So we, here we see the data set name, a description of the data set based on the con based on the schema, um, and then here like a description of each column with sample data for each column. Okay, and now I can just quickly copy that, plop that right in here. Okay, and then I can hit save. And now going forward, if someone's inspecting this data set, they're going to have that description down there. Okay, so this can be a really quick way to start really generating more and more robust documentation because at the end of the day, not only do you want to take advantage of Dremio's you know, fast queries and just easy UI, but you also want to make, take advantage of the semantic layer at its fullest. Because again, not only in the semantic layer, can you organize things in the different folders to kind of create your, your you know, your data mesh or your virtual data mart. Um, you know, you want to connect your data set so that way you can kind of have that zero ETL sort of experience where basically the data is just directly connected, connected instead of having to land the data here, land the data there. Um, but you also want to have take advantage of that semantic layer as a way to communicate information about how to use the data and what data is available. And taking advantage of the wiki is a big uh, feature in that. So hopefully you guys will check this out. Again, my name is Alex Merced, developer advocate here at Dremio. Have a great day and enjoy.